Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an... I was going to say update, but it's just another episode in this shopping house stash that I'm doing with Paula and Mercedes. For the month of May we are doing peach and I'm actually really excited about it. And I was pretty sure that I had a lot of that color in my collection because it is a favorite of mine. It was a little hard to put peach and orange and maybe they overlap, I don't know. If you haven't checked out Paula or Mercedes and Mercedes already, you should definitely do that. They make amazing videos and they will be linked down below as always. So. Let's just jump into it because I have quite a few shadows to talk about this month which is really exciting and maybe even concerning if you think about it because I definitely don't need any more peach eyeshadow sh eyeshadow cut talk. I'm sorry. Let's take the smaller palettes first and then we can build up to the larger ones because I do have those. The first comes from this palette, are you surprised? Not really. It is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. I didn't think this was a peach because it was like a darker orangey type of color. This palette is not known for its pigmentation, so it's kind of peachy when you swatch it. So let me just show you the shadow. Maybe it is looking orange, but it's really not. Look how sheer that is. Like, maybe it's an orange, maybe it's a peach, but I think it's more peachy because it's more sheer. So it's not as, as dark orange that I have in some other palettes, but yeah, first shadow there. The next shadow is kind of a different one because it is from my Divina Angelica collab and it's not a peach peach shadow, it is this one right here, but it has a pink shift to it. So I have no idea if you can see, the packaging is definitely distracting. I don't know if you can see the peachy shiny shift. It is called Sana, set A-N-N-A, Sana. I can definitely see it when I have it on my hand. So here you are. Yeah, there you are. Can you see the shift? The peachy shift? So that is definitely peach. Two kind of peach, right? We're shopping our stash, you know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm close. <laughs> One of my newer palettes. This is my Blush Tribe uh, Pastel Tribe Limited Edition palette. It is absolutely stunning. Maybe this is not entirely peach, it's more like a mandarin light color, but I'm going to swatch this anyway. I haven't touched this palette yet, so this is really exciting. Blush Trap said that this was a different formula than the other palettes she has done, but not entirely different. It can only be amazing because Blush Trap formula is amazing. She is closing down though. She is creating a new brand. Which is exciting for her, but I'm really sad about Blush Tribe. Oh, you didn't get to see it on my finger. Never mind. That one right there, maybe it's a little bit more of a mandarin color, but I don't care. I really like it. This is also a, like a so-so peach shadow. It is from a Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And it is the shade Salted Caramel. Yeah. I just think of a peach like a muted orange. Kind of. Oh yeah, this has more brown in it. So, four, four different peaches. <laughs> so I guess this is just more brown, but it is an orangey kind of color. Uh, warm toned. Beautiful shadow in the crease though. I really, really love that shadow. W7 on the rocks palette. I am going to swatch that shadow right there. Maybe I had it in my Alloy Call, the first episode we ever did. But yeah, this is the one. That one right there. And let's just take an obvious one that I definitely think have a peach. Felix! Dive 7 Life's a Peach palette. I have one called Peach Please. And then Sweet Temptation. So I do think... I'm going to swatch both of them just because. Peach, please, and Sweet Temptation. 
So this is Sweet Temptation, which is lighter peach, I think, and then more darker peach, maybe. <laughs> These two right there. This would be the perfect video if I had the peach palette from Too Faced, right? Felix, Felix, hold up, hold up. Okay, then we have the W7 Romance palette. And I'm going to swatch that shadow right there, and that is called Fling. This is the one. So this looks a lot like Sweet Temptation from the Peach palette. Doing better and better, I think. <laughs> There's a delicious palette. It's not entirely peach, but it's just like Salted Caramel, that shade right there. Yeah, kind of like Salted Caramel, I think. Maybe a little, oh, it's a little lighter. But it's more brown than peach. This one right there, this is Salted Caramel, so it's kind of alike. This is just a little bit more uh, light. This is the BS Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. And I'm going to swatch Candy. That shadow right there. This one. Okay, this is uh, definitely more orange. But this is the one right there. I still think it uh, it has a peachy undertone and not entirely orange. So, I think it is appropriate. Now the festival palette from BH Cosmetics, it is the color festival. And I'm going to swatch Experience. This shadow right here. Again, it's just like Salted Caramel and the There's Some Delicious palette. A little bit more browny peach, but I would consider it a peach anyway. This one right there. Maybe not so brown after all. MDK Vice Fall palette. I'm going to swatch Flame. This one right here that I had pan on. Another shimmer. It has been mostly mattes so far and that is not really going to change <laughs> i love this color so much it, it's not this pigmented when you swatch it or if you have it on your eyes but it is a shifty orangey reddish peachy shade the shift is more peach but the undertone is definitely orange but yeah Let's take the Zodiac palette first, because I don't know what shade in the Morphe palette I'm going to swatch. The Zodiac Love Signs palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to swatch... Can you guess which one? Yes, this one. This is the Virgo Shimmer shade. I love this formula. It is so pigmented and beautiful. If I could choose between this one and the Urban Decay one, I would choose the shimmer one from BH Cosmetics. This formula is so beautiful. This one right there. So stunning. Maybe this is more peachy pink, but I definitely think this is peachy color. Let's take a moment to consider this one. This is the Morphe 350M palette. I should know by now. I tried to pan on as many shades last year as I could, and I think I did pretty well. I knew there was some orangey kind of shade in this, but I was actually not entirely sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't uh, really sure what to choose in this palette, and I still have my doubts. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're not this pigmented when you swatch them as I remember at least and that is just turn. I have chosen this one to swatch this one right there and it is a little bit more orange than I would like but I don't think the others fit that well into the PT category. I was going to swatch this one as well but it is just a little bit too tan to be a peach. But yes, this is just like a mandarin shade, like from the uh, Blush Tribe palette. So that is going to be the last shade that I swatch. And I actually think it fits into the color scheme quite well. It is this one right there. So I do think I have gotten a pretty color palette. It has some darker and more 
uh, lighter peachy shades and some of them more peachy than others but that is the beauty with this series they don't have to be exact that was the words um, so I think this is quite nice that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you haven't already check out Paula and Mercedes they will be linked down below I'm really excited to watch their videos um, and just to see what they chose basically <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check out the other videos that I have linked down below in this series. I have a whole playlist but if you want to see a certain color that we shop for I will have them linked all down below. And in the video there will be a link to Mercedes and Paula's channel and their video. So Mercedes has only done it for 2020 so far but I'm sure she wants to continue with us because it's so much fun to watch hers as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care in these crazy times. I hope you're doing well though. Bye bye.